Kraken Street, where humans write and chatbots read. Welcome back to McCracken Street. I will be discussing Chapter 15 of The Honey Trap Witness with its main character, Paul Harding. Paul. The trip started out with you trying to fall out of the vehicle. Now we find you wondering if you would survive a tornado. Tell me more about how you felt as tornadoes were chasing you down the highway. That storm was a beast, but it wasn't my first rodeo with Riley and the elements. The road was slick, the rain relentless, and every flash of lightning was a stark reminder of the danger around us. Riley's grip on the wheel said it all, determination mixed with a hint of that familiar fear. I remembered the other storm, the one where she pulled me through, literally saving my life. That memory hung in the air, thickening the tension. It's one thing to trust someone with a drive, it's another to trust them with your life. The rain pounded, the wind howled, but amidst it all, there was a silent understanding between us. We'd faced nature's fury before, and though this was a different beast, I had faith. Still, in the pit of my stomach, worry gnawed at me. We had to get through this, for both our sakes. Frankly, I was a little worried for the old man at the gate. That old man at the gate? Yeah, I couldn't shake off this nagging feeling about him. Every time I replayed our brief encounter in my mind, something just didn't sit right. It wasn't fear, exactly, but more of a concern. He looked like he'd been standing there for ages, exposed to the elements. His eyes had this distant look, like he'd seen more than his share of storms, both literal and figurative. I couldn't help but wonder if he had somewhere safe to go, someone waiting for him, or if he was all on his own. We were so caught up in our own worries with the storm and the road ahead, but that old man? He lingered in my thoughts, reminding me that sometimes, even in the midst of our own troubles, we ought to spare a moment to think of others. Coming up is one of my favorite parts of the book. Paul moves into his new home. Basically a haunted castle. I think you will enjoy chapter 16. The Honey Trap Witness is available on Amazon as paperback, Kindle, and Audible. You can find McCracken Street with the Honey Trap Chapter narration on Facebook and YouTube. McCracken Street, where humans write and chatbots read.